Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Gun. Gun. Oh, hold on. We need to we need to do some modification here. Um there is a Wilbur almost in frame here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at him, he's so majestic. Oh, baby. It's a baby. <laughs> Luna Celia LaRue. Luna Celia LaRue. That's not a bad name. Is that one of your Elden Ring characters? This is his favorite move. You see that? You see that? You see that ear manipulation? Yeah, that's what you like, baby. <laughs> of course it is, yeah. Because you treat your characters with respect. Wait, did I have a poo on this game too? I had poopy and poo. <laughs> <laughs> or this one was poo smile, I think. Yeah, there was a smile there, so... I'm treating them with respect, they get a smile. That's plenty of respect, is it not? Oh, ho, 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 my sweet, sweet child. Hold on. Let's do a little rearranging here. Boom. Boom. Hold on. Hold on. Two seconds. Two seconds. My little baby is going to be in my little blanket. Yeah, little blanket baby. That's you. You're a baby in a blanket. I'm gonna leave the camera like this until he fucks off, and then we'll recenter it on me. <laughs> but until then, we're getting as much good Wilbur cam as we can. I don't care about talking to these guys, gotta be honest with you. Is there anything else cool over here? With funny names, you need to break that trend. <laughs> yeah, exactly, books. You need... I actually I do I do have a mix as well in Elden Ring at least. Anything that I'm like replaying though, I usually make a funny name. Well, except for the some of the stream stuff, some of the stream characters. Uh, what is my status right now? I need. Oh right, so we just beat the Blood Star Beast. We unlocked the Chalice. Okay, how do we do? Come Chalice. Somebody teach me. Okay. Okay, that does not answer my question. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Go to the second? Not the first grave, okay. Okay, got it. Oh, fuck, I need to be online. What? I need to be online? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fuck off, uh, you guys. I think I gotta restart stream. <laughs> you just said a dumbass article. <laughs> That's a fine answer. I would have taken that. For the record. Okay. Oh, wait. No, maybe it won't kick me out. Okay, I think I can still do this. I don't think we'll have to restart stream. It's fair. Okay, play online. Yeah, that's right. I do love you. You're correct. <coughs> I love you very much, in fact. <coughs> 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 
Chalice Dungeon Search or this one? Find a chalice using a chalice glit. Find an accessible. No, it's this one. And then it comes T U M M M F P K. Hi, Pat. It's nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. How are you feeling tonight, Batty? How's your weekend going? We're about to do our first cum fuck right now. We're not leveling with the cum fucks, though, you guys. We're only buying um, materials. Because fuck this game. <coughs> just unpacking some stuff from the move. Oh, right. You did just get done moving. Hell yeah. And it's a little raisin, too. Hey, raisin. Yeah, what, what, Monka S? Yeah, you'll see, you'll see, yeah. I'm working on it. I'm just really slow because I like to talk to people when they come in. Um, Batty, I know, I we've met before, we've talked a good amount, but usually when people come in and it's their first time chatting, I ask them, um, oh, baby. I ask them, what is their experience with Souls? How much have they played? How much Miyazaki? Like that. And then you search it. And then it gives you a special... Special chalice. Is this appropriate? <laughs> Just to M? No. No, come... Wait, what? What happened? Oh, is it going? Is it just being really slow? What on earth? I... Okay, it worked eventually. I don't know why I was being like that. <clears throat> Moderator Dusk, I don't know. You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to make a call on this on whether this is appropriate or not. Bloodborne plus DLC 4X. D oh, Dark Souls 3 plus DLC 2X. Dark Souls 1, DLC 2X, Elden Ring 2X. You have a Dark Souls 1 Soul Level 1 run in Stasis. <laughs> RL1. Isn't RL1 so fun, Quantum Bat? I fucking loved RL1. It's so fun. Okay, so you're like pretty, pretty around where I am for amount of plays. You've played a, a good amount more of like... Basically, a lot more Bloodborne than me. <laughs> You're allowed to say come, Chalice. It's normal. <laughs> I love you, Hyacinth. No mercy for pale blood. <laughs> okay, so how do I do it? How do I do the thing, friends? Don't I just, like, walk... I just, like, walk somewhere, right? And then it does it. I don't want to fuck it up, so I'm not going to move. Walk through the door. Okay. <laughs> Further. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So then I just go back, right? <laughs> this is amazing. Maybe you roll three times. Oh, yeah. It might be three rolls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bold Hunter's Mark. Okay, so... <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> You've been waiting to say that, haven't you, Dusk? <laughs> yeah, I am a cheater. But we're not going to do it for any shenanigans. We're just going to buy these. Uh, let's just do one for each, yeah. We'll just do it again. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to do the other items. I don't know. Let's take a look at what those... What are those other items? Yeah, it seems a little bit whack to buy yourself a bunch of Molotov cocktails, right? That seems a little bit whack. <clears throat> buy the Ludwig sword for fun. Wait, the Ludwig sword? Can you buy that already? You can't, can you? No. Get the bold hunter's things if you can. Oh, right. Um, Are they here? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can only buy seven, though. 
Or no, is that just telling me how many I have? Yeah, that's just how many I have. Okay. Yeah, we can buy... Yeah, we might as well buy these. These are worth it. Okay, um... I was foolish to not have done it before. Yeah, exactly. I agree. 2,000 echoes, or some sets usually come fuck for it. Right, right. That's a good idea. That's also a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do all these things and more. So if anybody has any lore questions that's on their brain, now's the time. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> no freet. No freet. That's against the law. I'm still getting used to being a streamer, okay? I'm just getting... You have to roll more than three times. <laughs> what happens if I open the door? Oh, so we have to reset it, huh? Do we have any bold hunters marks? Okay, thank God. Oh, he just takes a while to die? Okay. Not open any doors. Yeah, but, like, we're sick with it, so, like, we could kill him. Are you sure? <laughs> it's been a minute now. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I know, I know, that, I know, I'm joking. <laughs> I know this is a wonky one. Ah. <sighs> Uh. Come on. Hello. Stopped giving you free blood echoes. Interesting. I'm going too far. Oh, that might be true. Okay. Um, then we just do this, right? We shouldn't have... Well, now I don't know if I need to use the blood... The, the bolt thingy or not. Alright, we'll figure it out. Don't you worry, class. We'll become experts at this cheese. The cheese, Gromit. I hope I don't have to like remove the chalice and put it back in. Because I fucked it up. Okay, I'm going to try your method of rolling forward three times. Kills! Hi, sweetheart. What would be a fun challenge gimmick for one of these games that involved co-op? <coughs> what would be one? Are you trying to you're trying to uh collab with somebody books? Are you trying to try to court me? Yeah. This game I don't know. It's a little bit hard. <laughs> Oh my god, he's courting you. <laughs> Guys, shut up. <laughs> Let me work here. <laughs> Bring up the waist height. <laughs> Okay, well, give me this fucking thing. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> what does... What is that? Danger. <laughs> is it epic name, bro? Oh, fun. Danger. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, it's from Sekiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're just asking questions. <laughs> that's fair. Sub to Marcus. Wow, that's so long. Holy shit. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, congrats. Hi, Dusky. How are you doing? Welcome back. We're we're doing some more shenanigans now. We finally figured out how to do it right. <laughs> Person could make for a better conversation and stuff. Yeah, so here's what I'll say. So, um, yes, and I, I actually do have a plan for when I'm going to collab with Holden Out eventually, Mr. J, and, um, but you got to do a little bit more work, and you got to be both on the same page of, like, prioritizing chat overall, or not, you know? Like, because when people do half and half, that's when it, it gets weird. Because, like, the, the flow of the conversation doesn't, like, work right, you know? <clears throat> Trina streams with me, am I right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with, like, a really bad mic. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good enough excuse for it. Yeah. Is that complicated? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. There's there's fast conversation, but it, it, that's what I'm saying. You just have to be both on the same page about it. That's all. Wait, what the hell? Oh, you are, so you'd be the one with the good mic. Damn. Oh, whoops. You probably are in the top ten percent of streamers. I think. <laughs> yeah. There's gotta be. Around there, at least. <laughs> Dusk is courting me, guys. <laughs> oh my god, my dog is being so cute. Why is no one courting me? Hmm, I'm working on a high set. They just haven't come up with anything clever to say yet. <laughs> Most people who stream get beer. Yeah, it's true. You're nervous around beautiful women. <laughs> so true. I get that. I understand you. My dog is... I'm trying to, like, come up with a way for my arm to sit comfortably and just keep petting Wilbur while, we, while I play with one hand. I get too scared. <laughs> oh, You guys are cute. <laughs> Oh my god. We're trying to go for full, right? We're going for full. Dusk, honestly, if you pop into your stream one night, keep conversation alive, that probably would have been the last time. We talked about soup. <laughs> when was this? That's cute. <laughs> it's very cute. Maybe a month ago, yeah. <clears throat> Vibes. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Where the heck is Ashen? Doesn't he know that lore is the most important thing in everybody's life? I haven't seen them around. Yeah, well, they just haven't been around the internet as much. It seems. Real life, yeah. That's my guess. <laughs> I'm fiddling right now. I can't find them. <laughs> But they were in Boston? What? Really? Or are you just making a callback? <laughs> it 
Somewhere cold. Yeah, yeah, okay. Vibes. Vibes, 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 vibes. Perhaps. Out of all the possibilities that I could think of, that seems the most likely. <clears throat> Left to get a milkshake for your freezer. Oh. An e-girl milkshake. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dust or books is not lying. Hasn't been around for ten for only ten days. It really has it only been ten days. <laughs> That feels like forever in, like, Twitter internet time. It's an e-girl milkshake. It's not what you think, Emily. You probably don't want it. <laughs> On the Quaylag Discord, yeah. Which I guess isn't the same thing as Twitter, right? And it's not the same thing as making videos, that's for sure. Right. Remember him talking about DMC? Run DMC? Really, is this a real thing in the game? You would have a, a complete random accident to exist, become so important to people's playthrough, and it's a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I know. It's amazing, Hyacinth. It's like if Missing No was like the most important Pokemon that you had to get. <laughs> Don't vape, I'm not cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured you weren't that cool. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The May Cry hit the Capcom game series that born out of the development cycle of Resident Evil 4. Yeah, true. That is how that happened. Cool when I blasted six. <laughs> so true. A great comparison. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Sing, <laughs> no. Oh, wait, you did love six at one point. I was going to say no, you don't, but then I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> she is a sick boy sometimes. Aficionado. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. We don't have twin stone charts anyway. <clears throat> Sigs are evil. You don't want to. You don't want Sigs. Go for a dirty. You out for a rip, are you, bud? Oh, sure. Yeah, I was out at the lake, and this guy is. Talking mad shit, so I had to pummel him. <laughs> Started giving him the right hook. Joe Camel Innocent? Damn. I don't know who that is. <laughs> what do they say? They say, like, uh, they're talking about the, the Leafs. The Leafs made the playoffs. The fucking Leafs. I can do a pretty decent, uh, like, middle Canada accent. Got banned for being too cool. Don't you know? Oh, sure. I was out by the lake, and this guy, he just wouldn't stop talking, so I had to show him a little one-two, you know? Give him a little knuckle sandwich. You finished the snow commission you had to do, you feel like you're a new lease on life. Hell yes, girl. Manifest. Your Canadian accent is so good. Thank you, Kills. Because I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> the leaks making the playoffs is barely a real thing. <laughs> Do they not make the playoffs? <laughs> the Leafs. Made it last year and they lost the first round. <laughs> yeah. So you hear about <laughs> that bud chin up, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bud. <laughs> also, all your hockey knowledge was forced upon you. Oh, that's like a that's like a trauma memory. <laughs> Whenever win the cup, it's been like 75 years. Yeah. What about the Canucks, though? The Canucks ever take it home? Letter Kenny are like the fucking best. Yeah, I haven't watched a ton of it, but what I of what I have watched, I do love. 
I do love compounding dex trauma every time you talk about the Blue Jays. <laughs> don't sound. <laughs> I don't sound like that. I sound normal. Wait, I wasn't uh, copying you though. Was I? I don't remember copying you at least. Yes, I'm a big Trailer Park Boys enjoyer. Not as much anymore. Um, but yeah, I do love it. Oh, <laughs> really? That's funny. Yeah, yeah. It. I don't know about bad, just... Yeah, no, bad. <laughs> Classic. Of course he's a bad tipper. Oh my god, this dog is way too precious. I'm trying to play so hard, but... He just needs pets, you know? Like, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Look at how his head is. Oh, hold on. People don't want to tip barista, so like, oh well. They <laughs> feel like they can afford... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, honey, look, he's falling. He's falling. You gotta have so much blood in your brain right now, bud. That's too much blood for your brain. Yeah, that does seem fair, Dusk. You should at least get 75%. I mean, you did most of the work. You pressed the button. Did he press the button? I don't think so. I don't think so. Church of the Good Chalice. I want to go back and look at the iconography around here and see if there's any clues. Sweaty clothes. Mm, love you. Broken, you tip everyone. If an Uber driver nearly killed you twice... A course of five minutes, you'll tip less. <laughs> There's been a few of those like that for me. Gotta gotta say. Uh, beans in the grinder and press the button. Then you put the powder in the thing and press the button. Then the thing in the machine and press the button. Yeah. Good job. I'm proud of you. It's good. It is definitely good because it means that the people who run the restaurants have to pay their workers. <laughs> but that depends. Do you guys have good minimum wage? Work, 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 work. Oh my god, he's such a sweetie. You wouldn't know what a good tip was. Yeah, a good tip is like uh, 25%. Our society is a scam. In so many ways. pay your fucking employees like I tip as well but like yeah exactly fuck that shit I agree it's a complete scam of a system really strange way to go about stuff so yeah minimum is 15 but out current currency is weak plus servers get paid less than minimum yep no one say tips are good but you should still tip well it's here kind of thing yeah yeah it sucks Look at us. We're just two little peas in a pod. We're just two little babies. I think it should be getting minimum 114%, but that's just you. Yeah. Valkyrie from Dark Souls 3? Yeah, it's very... What are they looking up at? Is there anything up there? 
Yeah, it's pretty vibey. I guess they're looking up at the moon, likely, right? It's gotta be the moon. They looking at you. <laughs> Tell them to cut it out. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was trying to zoom in. <laughs> this ain't no Elden Ring. He's a mummified person? Why are they mummified? That's the only part I don't really get. Blindfold over her eyes? Yes. Um... No, I think their hood just um, is covering them. Maybe not even covering them. Yeah, I think it's covering them. Shrouded. Shrouded eyes. I think. Yeah, I know. There's like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cowards. They don't want us to know. It's the unknowable. Oh, whoa! His face is, like, up here? Okay, this one... Okay, yep. Okay, this confirms it, you guys. Big nose guy. So, this is, confirms it. It's shrouded eyes, just like this. You can play Bloodborne for the first-person shooter. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit! You can just hold this?! Oh my god. Okay, fuck yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like that. <laughs> That's amazing. But yeah, okay, so his beard's here. He's got his face up here. and that, So that means she's definitely has the same motif going on. Yeah, it's going to be pretty great. Oh my. Stop doing that. Same thing on him. He's got some bandages and shit. Why is this melting? Oh no, it's just a shitty tattered fabric supposed to be. That's just the city over there. Okay. <laughs> they really just like Copy pasted some textures over there. <laughs> They're like, fuck you. We did a lot of work on the other spots. It's pretty gorgeous. I think, I feel like I missed some items back here. TBH. Oops. I cheated. Invalid run. Okay, hold on. Let's go home, everyone. Wait, stream's over? No! Oh, yeah. This is how we're playing. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, that's the best. Qui peut penser, qui peut penser à la tristesse du diable? Yeah, it's pretty much Halo. With parries. What? Lance? Dusk, I you you came back at the wrong time. I was trying to get to figure out where the fucking Lance was for so long. <laughs> We're gonna get it next time though. I 
Bei aller Tristesse du Diable. March 23rd. Fun! That'll be great. I kind of like the Elden Ring Lance a lot. Uh, do you like any of the other ones more? <coughs> <coughs> Lothric Castle? Mm. Oh, there's a there's a there's a Lance in this? Oh, Dark Souls 3. Oh yeah, you did see that at some point. Get fucked, buddy. You're dead, right? Okay. At least we got a bloodstone shard out of it, right? <coughs> you had to use so many bullets, though. Can you stop screeching? <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, baby! Baby! What's up, baby? Oh. Elden Mid wishes it could be as good as Good Soul 3. It's certainly trying. You can't give it a few points at least. Get fucked. Oh. Oh, wow. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Multiple bloodstone shards from these homies. That's very nice of them. We can even up upgrade the, uh, the little flamethrower. Only to plus one, but, you know. Better than nothing. It's better than nothing, isn't it, Wilbur? Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. We're wrapping you up like a taco. We're wrapping you up like a taco. Please hold. They keep trying to make Dark Souls 3 like Dark Souls 2, and like... What have we learned? <laughs> If only they knew. Yeah, they basically just have to make Dark Souls 1, 1, 1. So, like, Dark Souls 3, again. <laughs> just make it again, Miyazaki. Do it again. More. Oh, I already killed this guy, didn't I? Okay. It looks like... I feel like we kind of got everything that we missed. No, not everything, because there's still stuff in the church. <clears throat> nope, not here. We don't need to go this way. But I guess we gotta fight you now. Okay, good enough. This is, this is dicey. This is a bit dicey here. We don't love the dice I'm involved. Mean. Yeah, uh-huh. Perfect game if you could go through Blight Town, Firelink trying to open the door to the depths. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> oh, if you could. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much the only flaw, right? Oops. I mean, we don't really need those souls, actually. This this is fine. Um, we just need to decide who we're fighting next, really. Thank you, books. Where are we going? Does anybody know where we're going next? 
You don't make the rules. We're trying to get to... Oh, yeah. We gotta kill Amelia, yeah? I feel like Amelia's next. <clears throat> I'm rocking a cool rainbow clip right now because I'm so LGBTQIA+. Oh. Amelia the dog reindeer. <laughs> That's so true. That's exactly what she is. Let's do it like... Yag? Can you work? Maybe. Maybe work? How about it? You gonna work? Um... I need to get a little bit comfier somehow. Maximum. Oh, yeah. Lying down? Now we're talking. We have the uh, chieftain's dealio. So we can go do the thingy. Cathedral ward. I wonder if we need to level up some more. We might need to. Night swig. Um oh, this one just opens? Or no, it's the it's actually the No, this one just opens. Okay, wait, where does this go? Is this actually the way forward? Or is that how you open the gate the normal way? Oh, also, so we just go to Yargul right now. From beating the Bloodstar Beast, it opens up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know where I'm going. I gotta go here, right? Open it. When you say it, Hyacinth, which do you mean? So close to getting. Not fair. Not fair again. What is with this? Oh, this is a terrible enemy to fight with a gun. I'm not about it. Oh, baby carriage. I I can just like open it, yeah? Yeah, weird. What the fuck? Almost from uh paying money to the messenger. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, right. Okay, I think I understand now. <clears throat> this is a whole area. We're gonna have to do some exploring here. Right, okay, makes sense. What mean? That's pretty, that's fast enough. Four shots in the back. Do shots in the back do more damage? They might. It kind of seems like it. Not totally sure. Get fucked, buddy. Blood vial. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll just kill you. I was like thinking about kiting this thing, but it's really not that big a deal. Now that we have come fuck, come.
Poison knife. Twelve of them. This is a damn curse. Let's see if I find any cool way to use this very soon. I'm just gonna try and like trust Miyazaki that this is probably a good item in this area. It's often what they're trying to say when they like just drop an item on you like that, you know? Oh my, what a queer scent. I shall take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. What is it? <laughs> I'm off curing hunger. I'm laughing because scissoring. No place for ladies. You're right. I am no lady. <laughs> Oh, is this the is this the cool chick? Is this the whore? Oh, thank goodness! You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? I do. The night is long, and there's very little of the incense left. Really, there must be some nice place to run off to. Um, what do we want to do? <clears throat> Should we uh, start filling up Yosefka? Lady of the Night. Okay, so... I think it's like you basically want to do one or the other, right? All Yosefka or all, or all uh, Udin? Isn't it? Or can you do a little half and halves? Oh, thank you, dear. I'm going to do Udin for her, yeah. Because she, she gives you a cord, right? I know Udin is a good place. I know, I, I know that. I'm talking about, like, us getting cords, baby. <laughs> and seeing lore. We want to see all the lore. Yeah, she does give you cool blood. That comes from her vag, probably. <laughs> it is good to get her blood. <laughs> her blood. I would like to drink her blood. The good blood. <laughs> yeah, she also gives you uh, just one cord, I think. Or is it two? It might be two. Gosh, a beast! Okay, we're gonna go over here. Oh, this guy is who I want to poison. Because I don't want to fight you. Get fucked, buddy. Wow, those poison darts are really effective. Oh, I forgot to talk to that lady. Thank you, NPC, other person, for reminding me. Oh, because I'm online. Okay, see, this isn't overwhelming. There isn't, like, a million fucking messages on the ground everywhere. That good, good blood. <laughs> you know I need that blood. Oh wow. You. You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What's yeah, on yeah. Idea? Oh, pathetic idea. What? what, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Oh, he just thinks you're. Okay. I don't remember what he does. Does he do anything? What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast, though. Your favorite thing ever? Oh, okay. <clears throat> right, okay. So, I want to send him to... to Yosefka, so I should say Udin, right? What's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Am I? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> That's not true. She's my friend. Uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? Do you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Yosefka. I don't know. Odin. Right? Because 
doesn't he fuck shit up if I send him to Odin? I think he's going to make things not as good. He's a werewolf. He doesn't? He doesn't fuck shit up at Odin? <laughs> he's not. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the caps. I appreciate your urgency in this matter. So what should I pick? Just tell me what to pick. <laughs> Hi, is it, just tell me which one. <laughs> Yosefka. Okay. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. What? What is he talking superstition? What? Still praying on folks with your book of lies. Yeah, fine. Yo, Sefka! <laughs> That's a good one, Emily. Oh, wait. Oh, you can change your answer? Yeah, sorry. Too shot. Ah, yes, this is ranged only, McFrenzy. Ranged only. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, you've been here, but you just came back, right? Too shot for that, buttocks. Is this her? Thank you, dear. Oh, okay. Oh! Aw, cute. She had one more thing to say. What a cutie. Okay, give me one sec. I'm just gonna. I'm literally just gonna leave my character here, and uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Thank you for being here. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad. I hope you had a good time.
I'm uh, doubling down on my uh, calorie consumption. And uh, Emily, I highly suggest you to do that as well if you have not already. You're leaning towards my try to use period accurate sewing techniques. Whoa. <laughs> you, do you watch that one chick on uh, YouTube who does like the Elizabethan dresses and shit? She's fun. Unhinged. Hold on. It will be really easy for me to figure out to find her. Emily Bach roleplay. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Never hinge. Yeah, agreed. Wow, everybody's playing Bloodborne tonight. That's so funny. I, I like anybody who's not doing the Elden Ring anniversary event is doing Bloodborne. <laughs> um. What was I going to look up? Oh, yeah. Um, only fans Victorian. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is the best one. It's uh, Bernadette Banner. Bernadette Banner. For any of you who want some girl core to watch today. <laughs> Only fanning myself because I fainted on the days. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Edwardian? Or do you mean she also does Edwardian? Vibes. True, true, true. Where, like, so many period pieces that are romances happen during... <laughs> I'll have to check her out for sure. That sounds quite interesting. Oh, you know, we should send that shit to Gene. If you find anything good, definitely send it to Gene. I don't I don't feel like that's a weird thing. I mean, that's why I thought of Bernadette, right? <laughs> Cuz that is her thing. <laughs> Period accurate sewing. Yeah, they really, they hold up. Too bad they all kind of look the same from afar, though. At least the jackets do.
they're yeah, it's like they're amazing and just monotone, and that's the only problem that I have with them. Because uh, I think I average like three to four outfits a day in real life, <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. Praise the old damn church. <laughs> oh. Sorry, buddy. So, is he like over it? Yeah, okay. He's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Praise you! Melina's alpha is basically just fantasy interpretation of a 15th century kirtle. Okay. Let's look up one of those. Yeah, you should definitely talk to Jean about whatever you know. That could definitely help her. She's doing a whole style maiden series, as you know. As I'm pretty sure you know. Sword off, mate. <laughs> Sword off. Oh, piss off. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, the curdle. Yeah, that looks very similar. Yeah, uh-huh. The first one's kind of a thotty. Thotty wearing the wearing the period accurate piece. Her makeup is not very period accurate. <laughs> oh, we got a picture. Oh, that is the one I was looking at. <laughs> That's the one I was looking at on Google. That's funny. Let me put a little bit of this lip gloss on. My uh, lips are. A torch chopped. It's Burt's Bees. So you know it feels good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then we take a hit. It's true, Hall Scout. I don't think there are any bees that I could call better than that. Alive ones in general are the best. But second best. Maybe. <coughs> <coughs> Dang, it's so hard to like not run into like an apocalyptic thought. If you're just like talking about the world. <laughs> Very annoying. Oh, whatever. <laughs> just be hit by the thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna poison these guys. Yuzaki did this for a reason. Oh no! Oh no, where where does it go? Where does it go? Oh, <laughs> that was close. Oh, what? What was that? Did you see that? Do they do more damage once they're actually already poisoned? Hold on. It does. What? I think it does more damage when they're poisoned. That's a weird mechanic. Smart Emily is like, use the Melina pattern on Etsy. Dumb Emily is like, use your curl pattern. Alter it to be more miserable <laughs> in your stubbornness. <laughs> but vindicate it, yes. I mean, the curl design would make it a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. <laughs> but you should make uh, progress posts on Twitter. If you're going to do that. Oh, she's fully drinking the Kool-Aid here. She's saying she doesn't say anything. Yeah, okay. I already talked to this guy, I think. Praise you! Praise you! Praise old church! Praise old church! I knew you'd come. Stand before the Elden Ring. Become the Elden Lord. 
That's Sir Gideon Offner, everybody. Give it up for Sir Gideon Offner. A why? A why? I don't know why you tried to say that. You were already dead, bro. Get shit on, buddy. Wait, what is... Oh, yeah, the brain suckers over here. A little brain sucker. Can I shoot? No. <gasps> Let's go. We're doing well. We're being very careful. We're being very soulsy right now. Is this a shortcut? Should I go up here? I feel like there is a shortcut up here, but I don't want to go up there yet. Because I might forget to come back down. Oh. Hi, can you just not get up there right now? Interesting. Okay, hold up. First of all, we gotta look around a little bit. Because I never, I've never really, like, taken in this area, I don't think. I usually just, like, sprint through it. There's some gargoyles over here. It's kind of a weird place to put a gargoyle, Miyazaki. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, buddy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hyacinth. Hyacinth, you gotta put this on their marks. They're getting a demerit for this. <laughs> he's, he's got hella locks on him. Oh, look. Look, you guys. You can see a little person. It's the don't go there gargoyle. <laughs> yeah. It's pre-built and you can't be fucking <laughs> at it. Yeah, you're just like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> Good enough. They're coming through the other direction anyway. But look, there's a little dude here. A little guy. There's a little guy. Oh my goodness. What a ridiculous lad. Okay, hold on. Are there any symbols on this? It mostly just kind of looks cool. Yeah, where's the guy? Oh, okay. You can't really see it right here. You see it better here. You see uh, the helmet? How there's like a, a triangular looking shape in the middle. And then he's got the pauldrons are like leaves. Leaf pauldrons. Yeah. So it's like a representation of a man. And then he's like holding something at the bottom. He's like holding a... Some kind of... I don't know. Circle, circular deal. Like holding the moon, perhaps. Yeah, so it's not like... I think it's... Yeah, there's some hands here, though. I think the, I think it's pretty clearly supposed to be a human shape. Even though it's not like literal human body parts. Interesting. Oh, it's a lore night, baby. I'm taking my fucking time. It's a lore night. Little griffin. Little griffin. Oh, and these guys seem to come in twos. Interesting. That's usually a sign of the devil, I believe. If you get like two twin imps. Sword of the devil.
little monkey demons, yeah. That guy's really interesting looking. Oh my god. Very wolf wolfy, half man, half wolf looking deal. Oh, and there's a dragon looking one. Interesting. It even has feathers over here. It has like a bird. Bird. Is this guy coming after me? Better not. Baboon zabub. <laughs> Baboon zabub. <laughs> Oh my god, that phantom scared the shit out of me. Got a little skull here. That one's pretty lame, honestly. We could go back and turn off online mode. If I get annoyed, I'll do it. In this game, you can only get invaded in, like, two areas, right? The Hunter's Dream and, like, uh... That one... Nightmare Frontier? I don't know if this is a shortcut. I think this is just an item over here. And that leads you back to the path or something. What does that thing even do? Oh, this doesn't do anything. This is just a square. <laughs> <clears throat> a watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. The sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. I can't remember what that sacred adage was. I definitely knew it at some point. It's like, Fear the Old Blood, I think is actually the one. It might be a different one, though. I can't remember. Every time I pick up a, a Quicksilver Bullet, it's like, shame for the, the cum fuck. You could have played it legit, Trina! Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out is really their old their their adage. Like that's what they actually do. Can I open this one? Yeah. Okay. But I can open it right here, can't I? Okay. Yeah, we did it, dude. The that was, like, the first time that I used, like, an item to get me through an area on the first try, and, like, it paid off. <laughs> the fucking poison darts, I mean. Oh. No. No. You're such a cheater, 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 pumpkin eater. I really want to know more about these dudes, like, outfits. Like, what what are they inspired by? Is this, like, a Lovecraft thing? Like, the faceless, white-skinned dudes? With the scary sombrero. A spooky sombrero. Anytime I try to say something that sounds Spanish, I just end up sounding French, so forgive me. Or it just sounds dumb, because it's halfway between them. So it's a couple things. Ooh, you have an answer for me, books. Hell yes. Lore, 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 lore. Books, you say it, and I'll, I'll say the fake answer. <laughs> Lore Pog. Lore always comes first here, baby. I need to make. Ugh. I need to do a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm feeling the pressure of, like, how much work all this stuff is. Also, based on. Uh, I think it went by the Night Watch. Before England had police, it had volunteers. Oh, okay. What's your capture card in PS5 slash PS4? So I use an Elgato most of the time, but I'm not actually doing that right now, Flea. I'm just uh, streaming straight from my PS5. It just has like a built in feature. But how are you doing? Welcome in. How's your Saturday? And do you play Miyazaki games? <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? 
Mm, I don't think we need to go that way. I think now we just need to, like, go fight. Like, we already opened up everything, right? I don't think there's any more graces for me to get. Versus Vandrews. <laughs> I don't remember what that case even is about books, to be honest. So, I sort of get the joke, sort of don't. <laughs> so, inspired by an old fisherman, Jim McGondry. Oh, he invented the retractable fishing rod, and the out and his outfit was very similar, but also was inspired by an American private detective agency, the Pinkertons, that would get hired at by the government to hunt down John Marston. Marston, yeah, that that adds up. Junta. Okay, how Eileen was. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, I wouldn't have known either way. That's that's what I mean when I say you know more music than I do, but I know lyrics. Because <laughs> it'll just be in my brain and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Casual Friday apparel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Pinkertons are still around. They murdering people? I, I'm i pretty sure the one Books said was real. Because <laughs> it sounds vaguely familiar. I think me and Books, at some point in the past, like watched all the same uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> but I think Books remembers them a lot better than me. Some point in the distant, distant past. You're just trying to the uh, small red redemption. Oh, okay. Up to union at busting, probably. Oh my god, union busting can die. Not a big YouTube guy. Right. <laughs> I had to clear the air about that. <laughs> <coughs> well, I am a YouTube girl. <laughs> I soak up information at all times. My reputation. You know all of your information from books, books. Don't lie. You've never watched a video. Look at those chops, bruh. This guy's kind of stacking. He's kind of thick with it. And by it, I mean those mutton chops, baby. Kind of thick. Where are my eyeballs at, girl? <laughs> Is Jean here? I don't know. Is Jean here? Jean. Oh, that is a valid question. She do be lurking. Okay, ah, let's yeah. see what it is. The swindling off come up. Did you really think that would work? There's no fool in me. Now, off with you. You heard me. Go away. I can't. Oh yeah, this there. guy's You're like. <clears throat> this is the dude who's just basically like completely harmless, right? Like, he's just, like, an idiot, basically. And, like, he's all distrusting, but, like, ultimately, I kind of feel like his character is that he's ineffectual. I can't remember exactly what happens, though. I'll spare you one nugget of advice. Beware the blind man. They're the bigger seats at the bottom of the blood. Right, the okay. And then he's here acting like he owns the place. He's not to be trusted. What's he want with all those people, anyway? So he's just supposed to be like the the player beginning to question their surroundings, really. At least, literarily. Give it a rest, please. I've no time for your petty lies. And what? Just go the, away now. I 
can't stand the stench of your life. Literally everything he says is wrong. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, kick six, awesome, and good to see you. I'm so happy you're here. How are you doing? Give it a rest, please. I've no time for your petty lies. But what? Just go away now. I can't stand this. <laughs> Sounds like your uncle. Okay. What is up with these columns? These are some interesting fucking columns. I never noticed these before. You'd be fun at parties. Yeah, for sure. Home from the country. Oh, fun. Very fun. New Zealand. Or, New Zealand. Australian country must be dope as fuck. I'm sure New Zealand country is dope as fuck, too. Got so many people. They're, like, in desperation, really, in a lot of these poses. They're praying, but it's such, like, a... Oh, a vulnerable prayer. This this got the face in here too. At least I see a face. A town with two hundred people. Oh, really? And dusk. Okay, let's talk to her. Amelia. This is... Uh, this... I think if, like, From Software had never gone on to make, like, a billion uh, amazing uh, female characters, this chick would have been my favorite for a while. <laughs> but then she just got, like, outshone so fast. <laughs> they made so many dope chicks right after this. Oh, hello, dear. This is a safe place. Thank you. Dookie College. <laughs> that is a good highlight. Thank you for that highlight, Kick Six. <laughs> I love having highlights for people's trips, that's for sure. <laughs> Just sucking on her toes. <laughs> they know what's up. They got freed in this universe. No freed in my universe. You guys never saw that. I'm cutting that part out of the VOD. And they're hungry. <laughs> I'd like to tender my thanks, but I can't imagine what to offer. All I can give is my blood. Yo, let me get that blood, girl. <sighs> yes, I would. Please. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's my badge blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty heavily implied for anybody that doesn't know that lore. I, I would have to like actually look at it to really prove it to myself and you guys though, because I haven't looked at it in oh, ages. Hello. Sorry, dear. Yeah. Okay. Here. It's probably gonna be pretty obvious when I read yeah. the. <laughs> oh, <hello. laughs> that she delivered that line so well. <laughs> I've only so much blood, okay? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All the birth and umbilical stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Emily. You've seen um, the viscerally female essay about about this game, right? Come back in a month. It was a, It was a good one, but I wish it had gone deeper. I wish it had gone further. That's what I was going to say. <clears throat> Maybe I'll write that essay someday. Oh, the one that I'm imagining. Sorry, dear. You might oh, that. okay. Um, is there anybody else that I missed in that little town? Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a YouTube video. You should just watch. Uh, maybe there is a written version. There probably is a written version out there. But um, I think you should just watch. Uh, the The video is good. Worth watching. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know where I'm going next. Uh, should we just bum rush Amelia? Oh! Does the bag boy not stay- Oh, he's right here. Okay, so question mark for the chat. Should we go to Yar Har 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 Har? No, I'm not going there. I actually hate doing that. I just hate doing that in general. Okay, wait. Why can't I- Didn't I open this one? Did I- I missed this one. God damn it. You can do it- Okay, I forgot this one. Hemwick? You think we should go to Hemwick next? Oh, because we want to see it in daytime, right? How do I open it? Oh, yeah, I know. I never opened this one. <coughs> okay, I know how to get to Hemwick, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to go open that door before I do anything. Sweet, sweet bone marrow ash. We definitely want that. Undead settlement alpha... Demo? Wait. What does that mean? My brain is too tired to understand you. Oh, hold up. Excuse me. <coughs> Need to go over here, please. Oh. Is this it? Is this the one? I think this is the one. Yeah, yeah, I'm recognizing things. <coughs> Revit's to hit game Dark Souls 3. Highest that this saying, this is the area of the blueprint for the test bed for the second area. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to that when we go back to Dark Souls 3. Actually, you guys, I just realized this is perfect if we play through the games like in unison like this. We could do a lot of good comparison that way. Hemwick Charnel Lane is a silly uh, old cool plague town like Undead Settlement. Oh, okay. Vibes, vibes, vibes. Gaming. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this we could get a lot out of playing these semi in unison. You found an area you never found before? Wait, really? I wonder, uh, well, I, I have every item, so I... <laughs> <coughs> Area of deep root. Oh, a little nook, a little cranny. This game called Elden Ring, and I think you would like it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Dust. That is the quality comments that I expect from you. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Leads back to an entire area. <clears throat> Wait, so you just... Did you never go down down to, like, the lower lake? Is that what it is? Or is this some other thing? I don't... Yeah. I'm gonna stop thinking about it so hard. It's hurting my brain. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my voice. My voice is surprisingly gone right now. <laughs> Ellen Ring is kind of cool. It's open world, too. <laughs> you might like it, actually. If you've ever played, like, you know, Breath of the Wild, it's kind of like that. <clears throat> yeah, are there, are there good plague towns? Are there good blighted areas full of decay and disease? Is there not an item here? Is it really just that stupid black hat? I do I do kind of vaguely remember being annoyed with that loop when I was a young child. A very small young child. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. What did I just do? What did I did I just summon somebody to my fucking game? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess somebody's gonna help us with Amelia, huh? <laughs> Henriette! Come on, Henriette! Or is that a- is that an offline one? Is that like a Miyazaki one? Okay, yeah, okay. <coughs> All good. Bloodshot Eyeball. Let's read that when we... Uh, I... 
I have an irrational dislike of that of that item. And I don't really want to tell you guys why. You can use the uh, a silencing thing to dismiss her if you want. Okay. Yeah, I probably will if it doesn't like let me keep going. Yeah, it's about to. Yeah, okay. Uh, with the cut cut ties, silencer blank. Disrupt resonance. Oh, yet. See ya. Whoa. I've never used that. That's actually pretty cool. A spinning stone and a sleeping rune bear. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Yup, I know that little spot. That is a little, that is a little nook. Facts. Godspeed, Henriette. Henriette. Ooh, man. I'm trying to get married to somebody named Henriette. Hidden gesture is pog. Yeah, that is very pog. And the 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 um the disharmony of the ring that they made is also very pog. Only Etta. <laughs> yeah, I said we're getting married. We're getting married. Only Edda, no prose, or whatever those two books are called. <clears throat> Pro? Prose? Pro? I'm fucked. I am currently fucked. I am dead. <laughs> Only Edda is a good one. Only helpful fans. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, that that was 100% my fault, though. I didn't really realize how hard this area was going to be and how much I'm definitely not going to fight these guys. <laughs> and then once I realized that, and then I could have ran, but it was, like, too late. I already had to, I was on the, like, chain of uh, dodging every single time. This game... I mean, for for ranged only, I really don't care about fighting these regular enemies. <clears throat> I have a, a cane slash whip build that we could whip out every once in a while if we want to beat people up ever. I play it on my own sometimes. You'd think I would get sick of these games, but no. When I get off stream, I like play them for an hour or two on my own. <laughs> and then I go to bed. <laughs> To decompress. And deeper with death, Godwin is at the top of the waterfall. And he has a fish tail, and for me, is very reminiscent of the golden carp slash dragon story. Yes, yes, that is a good point, Hollow Scout. <clears throat> I would have to reread that to really remember what, <coughs> what it's about. But <coughs> he's definitely got some like koi mermaid, mermaid becomes a dragon type thing. Yeah, and he's and he's in transition. Everybody in that game is in transition, and I'm not making a trans joke, but I am making I am making a trans pun joke, but I'm also not like they actually literally are as well. Right, exactly, Kick Six. He's one of the most heavily dragon associated ones. It's funny that he's not lion-associated really at all. <sighs> hmm. What do I do here? I guess I will fight these guys. I think I can fight them without activating these dogs if I'm careful. Hmm. What's the plan? Let's see. What, let's see what kind of items we got. Um, numbing mist. No, that doesn't matter. <clears throat> we have nothing special to do against these guys. Oh, Pebble. Right. Can I throw this and distract them? Oh. Okay, that was really annoying, but it's fine. Okay. We're just not going to die. How about that?
<laughs> Get fucked. Oh, that was easy. Ow. Just shoot fast. That's really what I should have done the whole time. Nameless King. Yeah, uh-huh. That is absolutely the um, the trope that they're bringing in. <clears throat> that's a that's a good person to be referencing Hyacinth, and we'll keep we'll keep note of that when we go there. High blood tinge scaling guns, uh, or with cannon. Uh, we're gonna do anything ranged, uh, McFrenzy. I think at a certain point we're gonna like over level the, us ourselves to shit, and so that we can use a bunch of a uh, bunch of ranged options. We're not we're not limiting ourselves here, baby. Is my point. <clears throat> to summarize, the golden carp refused to give up and managed to climb a waterfall. And for its achievement, it was turned into a golden dragon by the gods. Fortisax may be symbolic of the gold dragon. Yeah, it's like a black death dragon. That also he did defeat. It was said that he defeated. I wonder how many of those myths are like about what's happening to those demigods right now. It's so weird. Some of some of the wordings on them. So strange. Where I'm like, are you just talking about what happened like five minutes ago? I don't know. <clears throat> Magikarp, yeah, that is why Magikarp turned into Gyarados McFrenzy. Gold, uh on death by the death blight, yeah. Gold on death, yes. Right, it is gold, you're right. Good point that it's gold, fuck yeah. You should turn that into a little something. Hollow Scout. If you haven't already, you might have already made something about that. Ow, oh, that was just bad. This is, this is... That is so embarrassing. <clears throat> All the dragons have gold? Wait, what do you mean? But, uh... I guess he... Hollow Scout was mostly pointing out the fact that even though it's Deathblight, it still had gold in its, um, color scheming. That... So it still brings up that, uh, myth. But also, what do you mean by all dragons have gold? What do you guys mean? I don't get what you what you mean. Have gold what? Lightning? Cuz that's not true. All have some gold to them. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, true. <coughs> does Fortisax? Yeah, I think Fortisax does too. I think they all do. Yeah. Right. It's like, cr they're like crusted with it. It's really cool looking, actually. Like, look at this drip. Her fucking dress is just so dank. I want to be a sex worker with a fucking gorgeous gown. <coughs> a gorgeous, gorgeous gown for a gorgeous girl. I always took this route. I don't remember why, but I'm going to assume that younger me knows what they were talking about. That's easier. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. What is on the right route? Oh yeah, the right route goes to the Forbidden Woods, right? You can get her red shoes? What? No, isn't that a cut item or something? I don't... You can get her shoes? I want her shoes. Okay. So, this time we're gonna... I think we should... We can still fight our way through. We did We did pretty well last time when I was actually being careful. The nice thing is that we actually get to level up for this for once in my fucking life. <laughs> I get to use the level mechanic in this game. I don't get to use the main weapon, but, you know, 
Or at least not yet. Right is the way to Yarhar, Yarhar Ghoul after it's unlocked. Oh, right. That's where the dude on the chair is. Okay. Yeah, vibes, vibes. Chair guy, chair guy. Get fucked. I'm so annoyed! <laughs> Stop moving slightly! <laughs> or moving in a weird way, I don't even know why I'm missing. I think I should just be waiting until they get back up. Ouch. Thank you. Let's get a little monocle action going. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's fucking. This is what's wrong. Oh, you even can roll, you guys. Okay. This is what we're doing wrong here. Oh, it really has low range, though. Oops. Where is he? We need a faster camera here. Tactical monocular. <laughs> Isn't this so fun? This is kind of sick. <laughs> this is so funny. No, 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 no. Yes. Strafed just enough there. Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, it's so Resident Evil. <laughs> Take out the elites. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, okay, you guys, is that really necessary? Really? That's like so much dramatics for one little me. Oh, whoops. No, I don't, oh, I do actually want those. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot. Oh, he isn't going to shoot, okay. Shit. Come on. Oh, I'm sure he was going to hit me. I bet. No! No, no, no! We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, it <laughs> looks like game play. Yeah, exactly. I have seen a good amount of of great bow since it's like a, it's basically a fucking necessary evil and against some enemies. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let me in. 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 Man, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No, I haven't touched it yet. Hold on. Okay. I can kill me. <laughs> Sucks to suck, buddy. Just a little bit too good. That is a really cool looking dog. I gotta, gotta say. I do like me a dog that looks like that. We're thirsty for blood. You cannot see me at all. <laughs> I can't really switch the camera settings on this though, so we're just gonna rock it the way it is, baby. I saw that Sadia started early, way earlier than usual. I hope that doesn't mean she's going to end earlier than usual. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, because witches are dank. I'm actually going to talk about witches a lot in my upcoming essay. Has anyone played Code Vein? The dogs in that game have... A uh, lunches that go across the map. Worst dogs in any souls like. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. 
That one's kind of like a near automata looking, right? I think Gene and Ben are streaming. Oh, are they streaming Elden Ring? Because it's Elden Ring's birthday. Well, yeah, there'll be some. There's definitely going to be somebody to uh, raid eventually. I just want to be able to raid uh, the Elden Ring anniversary event because um, they're doing like charity and stuff, right? I think. I think the Covenant thing is for charity. Maybe it isn't though. Oh, headshot, baby! Oh, headshot, baby! I can't tell if headshots are worth more. <laughs> I don't think they are. <laughs> we love Bloodborne FPS. Yeah, me too. This shit is actually very lit. I'm like having a lot of fun doing this. Oh, come on. Come on back. Come on back. See me when you can. Get fucked. Comp scene will go wild. One of these gonna sign a team. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be me, 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 and me. Treat dead body with care. Okay. Bloodshot eyeball. Oh, we didn't read it. Hold on. We need to kill this. We got a bogey. We got a tango. She's moving on me. She's got a gun. She's got a gun. I get to shoot. <laughs> I have a right to shoot at will. Tactical nuke deployed. Yo, can I get a UAV? Yo, hook me with a UAV. <laughs> she was coming right for me. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's not funny at all. <laughs> Cause it fucking sucks. Someday I'll tell you guys what happened with me and the law. You hear the graveyard murmurs. <clears throat> that is not today though. It's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> oh. That was a good one. Did you hear the graveyard murmurs? Then it's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's terrifying because she's talking about like having a fucking eyeball blood harvest freak out sesh with everybody. Ugh. This place is like very, very genuinely scary to me. Ooh. The spooky. The very spooky. Did I forget to answer somebody on something? Yeah, very anime. Yeah, okay. But wait. Oh, yeah, you did say what you were going to say. I thought you were going to say something else about it, but yeah. How how is the lore in that game, by the way, Hell Scott? How do you like that game overall? Because I don't think anybody here has played it. <clears throat> how much really? It's pretty freaky. It's like they're they're. I I don't. I think that this place would be a lot scarier if the boss was good. <laughs> the boss is so dorky that like it kind of cuts the uh, seriousness of the sound to me. <laughs> the so this is like we need to take pictures of this actually. Fuck you guys, we need we need like lots of pictures of this zone actually. Because this is like our Dominula village um prototype. This is what we need to talk about in our essay. No <clears throat> You fucking bitch. Okay. Got it. Oh, whatever. We can always come back through. Prototype. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that uh, This one's, like, way more fleshed out than Dominula. <laughs> Dominula is just, like, a thing on a hill. Although it is... Dominula does have better 
mystery elements, I would say. So, the writing is a, t is a touch better. Well, I don't know. This place has really good writing, actually, too. But doesn't have as much... Um, they needed, like, an NPC in here, in my opinion, to really bring it to life. Yeah, no. They, they cut people's skin off instead. But they do do, like, ritualized um, taking off of body parts still. Yeah. <sighs> right, I don't think there is. There's just the eyeball stuff in the game in general. With the uh, Shabriri grapes. Uh, is there... Oh, sorry, I cheated again. Alright, reminisce of Souls lore mixed with Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, yeah, I've... Never really got into that. I never. I, I kind of want to, though. In a modern setting, gameplay is alright at a casual level, but has flaws at a deeper level. Okay, I feel you. <clears throat> That's like most Souls likes, isn't it? You like Helmuk more? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's definitely an actual zone. <laughs> That's one. I'm, I'm going to come. Oh, we're going to. Do not watch Tokyo. The, why? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Is it scary? Oh, oh my gosh, but <laughs> I'm not gonna, okay, so here's the thing. I don't like PDFs, and I'm also not willing to buy them, so I'm in a bit of a conundrum with manga in general. I do like manga, though. I've read plenty of manga in my life. The anime is legit really fucking bad. Okay, fair enough. Butchers it. <laughs> you haven't even read it and you know that it purchases it? Okay, that's funny. Oh, that's tough. That's a bit tough. Are you kidding me? Michael! Personally, I think without reading the manga, season one of Tokyo Ghoul was awesome, and then it was complete garbage. Yeah. That sucks. Well, is it um, visually, is it artistically compelling in that first season? Is it worth watching that first season at some point? <clears throat> ha! Tough. Tough. You're a hater, though? Yeah, but so am I, Dusk. <laughs> you know this. I think they tried to use anime to draw people into reading the manga, but in doing so, they sacrificed making a good anime. Oh, good point. You like the manga a lot, yeah. That season one was sick. All, all of... Your friends liked it. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, I, I think I've got the full picture now. Of which parts I would like. <laughs> yeah, we got some twin bloodstone shards. Let's fucking go. Season one was good. Okay. <laughs> good. We brought you back into the T-Girl fold. <laughs> we must be unified. <laughs> Reason will prevail. Oh fuck! No 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 no! I knew it the second I pressed the button. So foolish, so foolish. Well, at least we can take our pictures now. We can t oh, she has like a nose piercing. She has like a huge nose piercing. Do you guys see that? I hope they announce season two soon. Yeah, me too. Fucking a. I've been sitting on this battle pass for god knows how long with no content. Battle pass inbound, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. V-Bucks and nothing to buy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Okay, let's start. Let's get this uh, HUD out of the way here. Uh, wait, does it take a picture of my... We have to turn off my camera, too. Sorry, good friends. You're going to have to um, accept me not being here for a second. Stay tuned for more Elden Ring news. Announces Elden Ring artist meal <laughs> at McDonald's. Yeah, honestly. That's how I feel like this week has gone. Elden Ring Season 2, the tree will be the big... <laughs> Badger named World Eater, and it's more like Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> I would be down. I'd, all I want is uh, Dragon's Dogma and Elden Ring to have a love child. <clears throat> I think Battle Pass be like, beat the game to unlock a new ending. <laughs> to unlock the right to play the game again. Yeah, I'd buy that. Okay. I guess we... I probably want a gif of this lady moving around. Oh, you fucking... No, thank you. Yeah, she really is a vibe, but she got a little bit frisky. She also got a little bit frisky. Just a touch. Yeah, I get it. I get it, Scout. I get it. I can't blame her. Hemwick Charna Lane. I missed... Like, uh, now that there, I know that there's, like, half the games have a lore on the locations themselves and half of them don't, I really like it when there's lore on the locations. You guys know what I mean? I don't mean, like, lore about the locations. I mean, when you're on the menu to pick a location. They have, like, little blurbs. <sighs> that I thought were cute in, in Demon Souls, now that I've played with them. Um, I kind of want to do it with no hunt. Oh, right. We're not fighting yet. Thumbnail thingies. Uh, little church lore is... Uh, Kills is a, a um, an album designer for their job, for his job. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It does make so much sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's it's so fun like how everybody has like these different skills but like what brings us together is like our obsession with lore so like everybody has all these random other hobbies that are like fun to mix match. Okay, nope. Nope, that's it. That was that was my limit. I need to have the network off. No, 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 no. You have the skill set of being adorable. And a wonderful friend. <sighs> and you're my mod, for that matter. Yeah, exactly. What would we do without you? <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'm still waiting on that, uh, on that write-up about the, the, uh, Elden Beast. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> Hyacinth is like the most humble woman I've met in many, many, many moons. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we did it. We did it. We turned off the internet. Fuck you, internet. <clears throat> right. It's tough. Locks access to your Miro because you guess municipal government found out you were using it for Elden Ring. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's a whoopsie. <laughs> Should have done it on a free account. 
Oopsies. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait. If you go no HUD, it does turn off this shit. <gasps> oh, you guys. All right. We're going in. We're going in. I ain't no coward. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, it's too slow. I, my camera's so slow. Very talented and creative. I agree. Yeah. It's so fun. Uh, I need to turn this up. Hold 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 up. This is going to be fun. Turn that down. I never like that being high. Uh, camera auto adjust. What is that? Oh, okay. I think I want that on. Okay. Okay, now we're now we can 360 no scope these mother truckers. Watch your profanity. Get fucked, buddy. Oops. Let's go. We even got a freaking repost. <laughs> That's so fun. All right. <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now. Go. No, no. Oh, I got hit finally. All right. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll just shoot you. If you're just going to stand there. Oh, whoa. You still have health? Okay. Shoot her in the... And the you know what? The hooey. <laughs> A full. You're. I'm full digging right now. Full DJ. Jesus Christ. I'm full DJ. You're full DJ right now. You're watching TV and the stream at the same time. Oh, fuck yeah. Double. Yeah, I mean, I've done like some pretty ridiculous amounts of streams. <laughs> like at the same time in the past. You know, Hogwarts really had a way of culling, culling how many people I had to watch th or I wanted to watch throughout the day. Okay, say hi to. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. All right, that's fine. We're going to play the game normally now. <laughs> it's hard enough. Oh wait, we still need some close-ups of these ladies. Okay, we're still we're still in uh photo mode. You read days ago and probably it won't lead anywhere here in scrubbing lore discords. You Is it is it uh, like something in particular, Kick Six, that you're looking for? Where you're like, oh, I remember somebody saying blah bitty blah bitty about blah bitty blah bitty, and you're trying to remember what blah bitty blah bitty is. Oh, that was a good shot. I think. I hope that came out the way I wanted it to. Okay, so it's worth it to actually repose these guys. It takes it from three shots to two shots. <laughs> Here we are again, no HUD. 
I'll just do, I I like it. I'm gonna use the lock on, but yeah. You've been noticing connections between Radagon and Godwin, and it's really fucking weird. Well, Kick Six, I'll say one connection that I know in general is that they both have misbegotten features, uh, or have both have misbegotten connections, because Godwin's like a literal chimera right now, and. Uh, yeah, Radagon has scales. <laughs> I was waiting for you to chime in, Emily. I was like, I was like, kind of like trying not to look over at chat. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, I know she's gonna say something. <laughs> vibes, vibes, girl. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> he a scaly bitch. I agree with you. <laughs> for the record. I do, well, I just think, like, yeah. So, well, in that... Does he actually all y'all joking? I'm only 5% I'm only joking, and Emily is 0% joking. And I'm only joking because I know that uh, Rachel already gave it an... Uh, in, uh, our, what do you say when you're we're incredulous, was her answer. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's pretty convincing. It's not you could it's pretty e it's like pretty easy for someone to just be like, "No, it's not going close stuff." But yeah. I think it looks pretty scaly. No, 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 no. Oh, you posted it in a tweet. I I don't remember that. Beer. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's get a let's get a picture of her throwing one of these. That'd be actually really cool. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We could get a cool picture like that. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. It's got an... Ugh. See, that's the thing. It's exploding, but it's, like, getting in the way. It's getting in the way of actually seeing her. Oh, stop. Anyway, okay, let's see if we got any good ones there. Excuse me for one second. Oh. Oh, yeah, I like the blow-up ones. Yeah, it. Yeah, so I, the, I'm not reading Emily's messages because I already know all this. We talked about this. But uh, Kick Six, I encourage you to to add to it if you have something that is on your mind. Let's try and get a closer picture. I'm gonna save this one. It's not. It's not horrible. But I think I can get a better picture. Yeah, it is. It is quite cool. I agree. Oh. I think I got a good one on the last one. Finally. Can you not kill me? That was really close to death. No! Oh my goodness. She got a hammer. She got the hammer. Oh, I think I got a good picture there. I hope so. Ow! No, no, no! No, you guys, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> Every time I try to get fancy and then I just die. Mm -hmm. Right, but also he has no reason to. Uh, I don't know. It's it's easy to poke holes in it. That's the unfortunate part. 
But it is really cool. Right. It's just a matter of whether you think it's intentional or not. Because, like, those connections are there regardless. <coughs> Radagon is Master Hugh. Uh, I think so, Hyacinth. But that's because I think everyone is America. For sure, easy to poke holes into. But it's interesting that they choose to keep that texture. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's already stone. Like, you could have made crumbled stone. It doesn't seem like crumbled stone that much to me. I'm not saying it looks 0% like that, but... <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Right. Master Hugh... So, like, under my, uh, like, understanding, it would be like... like the round table hold is like the inner, you're like inner, is inside the earth tree. That's why it becomes on fire um, when the earth tree is on fire and it's like your inner self. And you've like chained yourself and, you know, it's just like different aspects of you that you're interacting with. You said that I could pull Marco's model. Yeah, I know. One stronger thought you had, stoner thought you had the other day was, what if Radagon is a fire giant and was rebirthed the amber egg? He hates his red hair because he is the only thing he couldn't change. Yes. Yeah. No, I just think that, Kick Six. I just think that. I'm like not, I'm when it comes to like those things where they're like, oh, they left a literary key clue here where it might be this. I usually say, yes, it's that. Like, I'm usually, like, the yes answerer to those qu types of questions. Because I think it's written like a novel. And especially this one. Hugh deserves better. I want to have a surprise party for him. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if he'd really like a surprise party, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's been... Pro uh, maybe, maybe Quaylag hasn't talked about it, but I feel like people have... Maybe people haven't brought it up that much in videos, now that I think about it. But yeah, so that that's what I think. Basically, um it I, not necess like I don't I don't have like a, a set decision on like whether it was the amber egg or if he's just has Yeah. No, I actually no, I think I do lean towards like he was from the amber egg too. Yeah. Actually yeah, I do lean that way in general. Did we kill everybody? I feel like there should... Oh, yeah. I think this is the better route. This gives me... Oh! A better vector. Disagree. What was Connection America be if... His connect... Oh, because she is... Um, uh, so, like, the hammer item is basically the... The, the connection in my mind. Um, because I think that... Um, God can change her form. Um, and. You don't. Wait. Oh. Oh, you're just asking kick six. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, hold on. What would his connection to America be if this is true? Oh, because it's like America's DNA that does that does the amber egging. It's like America clone that came out wrong. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway. Now I, now I'm following what you're talking about. But yeah, so it's like America. Um, but also they said like the fire giants cursed them. So I was actually more thinking of it like when she uh, cur uh, smited the fell god there was, like, a, a consequence, and, like, Radagon was, like, schleft off of her, basically, as a new being. That's how I first imagined it. Because of, like, the line about the, uh, and the red, the giant's red braid. That we could talk about for hours. Just that one stinking item. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh my god, talk about it. <laughs> you want me to bring it up? I can bring it up after we get through the zone. I have infinity things to say about it. Yeah, okay, for sure. We can do that. Now I now I'll actually win. The other times I was just dying for for fun, doing it on purpose. If anyone watches your vid on the eyes of juvenile scholars, it actually fits quite well. The idea that the amber egg is uh, malignant spreading America's genetics or influence. Yes. Okay, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for because the America Radagon connection is the most difficult lore piece in Elden Ring. Yeah. So it's just like, um, have you ever read my uh, Trans Between stuff, Hollow Scout? Like, that's like what le led me down the the hole. But I I think it's like a a pretty classic. Anyway, it, it, we're getting into like literally like the cru like that's the thing. If we talk about this item, we're getting to like the crux of what I think about Elden Ring. So <laughs> it's like, oh, it's kind of a can of worms. This item like pretty much defines why I think it's a there is um, allegories to transition and um, trans people like explicitly. Rebirthers DNA. Hi, man. It's really nice to see you. How are you doing tonight? How's your weekend going? The Ember Egg embeds the rebirthed with the rebirthers DNA. It could possibly see that. That's what I was thinking because, like, when Renala is using it, uh, she keeps making these black haired babies over and over again. It's like always black haired beings. Even though some of them, I think some of them are male and some of them are female, actually, which I, I don't remember where I saw that though, so I can't confirm as I'm like making that shit up. <gasps> no. You guys, let's look up the item. Let's look up the item. Oh, we can't do it the way I want to though. Well, I can, I can read it at least. Ooh, played Princess Maker and then played Terraria with some friends. Now you're here for pretty great so far. Oh, that's a nice night. That's a really nice night. Hell yeah. Good to have you. Her scholars have different outfits as well. Red and blue. Radagon and Karia. Oh, okay. That's maybe where I got it from. I don't... Let me be... Is it from the... Hyacinth, if you look at the... Uh, the concept art and may say like male and female i don't know terraria is so good i've never got far into it i really wish i had the eyes are turning gold trina yeah yeah no i'm following you kick six i agree and i think that um it is definitely us uh it's not only a sign that they went through the amber egg but yeah it could also be a sign of america herself but yeah, that is one thing to keep in mind it could be just a side effect of going through the egg or being rebirthed by the egg in general. Look at them. Nice towers. They are some nice towers, aren't they? I feel like I haven't looked at the witch's hat towers this much. I, mean, I think we need to look up some lore about these witch's towers. Like, what, why, how, why do they look like that? Usually. You know what I mean? You think one of them has a taller hat? Wait, one of the uh, witches? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. The scholars. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, it's a mess of a video, but a way to dump ideas in my brain effectively explain anything. Yeah. Look at them nice towers. I'll plug that off for later. Open it a new tab. Okay. Um, so let me read. Let me read this. Uh, right. True. 
Giants Red Braid. But, okay, fuck off. Fextra. Oh, that's so annoying. Where's where's the fucking text? Oh my god. Here it is. Hefty whip woven from the flame red hair of a fire giant. Every giant is red of hair, and Radagon was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. And oh my god, fuck the way they wrote that sentence. <laughs> Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. Who the fuck is they in that sense? Is it Radagon? Is it the Fire Giants? Is it both of them? Is it red-haired people? Is it uh, the Newman? Is it Radagon plus Merica? Is it just Radagon? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Um... And what is the curse? Like, what's the curse in that scenario? Because it's not clear. Um, so, if we're going full tinfoil hat, if you guys have read my trans between stuff, when they say uh, the curse, I think the curse is self hatred. Um, because Morgoth is like the central pillar of the story progressing. And Morgoth's whole theme is all about self hatred and internalized self-loathing from the system that treated you poorly. Um, so that's what I think Radagon represents for America. It's like America's self-hatred, like, kind of running rampant and having a tantrum because she's d transitioning and starting to not be able to deny her transness anymore. Miyazaki heard red-headed stepchild and went hard. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look up concept art for something? Oh, the uh, the scholar, the juvenile scholars. If you want to, it's not a huge deal. Um. Uh, so yeah. So uh, because so there's a lot of like um, Loki and Lo the Loki Logi stuff. If you guys heard Quaylag talk about that, um, um. Radagon and Merica have some trickster elements to them, and Loki was often um, called Logi on accident in their myths, and Logi was like a, a an actual giant, a giantess, I think, and he would always get pissed about that, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The two Astel's names... There's natural born, and then there's stars of darkness. The stars of darkness is the ability to replicate itself for an attack. Yeah, I don't, I don't get what that replication is supposed to be. Like, it, it's just like it straight up seems like just a ninjutsu. But I can tell you. I, I don't really know what to think of the of like the differences between them. Digress on the Godwin slash Radagon thing. Both have strong connections to lightning and thorns. Uh right. Uh Radagon lightning a little bit less explicitly, because he's throwing holy bolts at you specifically. But the thorns, for sure. Tall, buff, topless guys with robes around their waist down and long hair. Yeah. Church of Radagon all depict him with golden hair for some reason. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So that, I also, I, um, it's not all of them. It's not all of the churches of Radagon. It's just a few. Um, there are some red ones, too. Radagon, when does he use Golden Lightning Kick Six? He uses Holy Attacks. The Greater will um, ascend in a stealth to punish the city and their experiments. They 
created another, but that's tinfoil hat. Yeah. Yeah, it's only some of them. It's like his early ones. It's like the ones that seem like they would be chronologically maybe earlier. That's what me and Quelag have said in the past, at least, to each other. Isn't it golden? Yeah, it is in some of them. But some of them it's red. Or, I mean, it's not red. Some of them it's just stone. Sorry. Sorry, I said red, but it's not, it's not, I don't think it's red. It's just stone. In some of them. Godwin is only ever seen with his hair loose. It's never in a braid. That is a pretty different um, visual marker. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, but um, I would say the blondness still connects them somehow. Um, but for me, when I was doing my uh, trans analysis of the whole thing, um, that was like another element of him trying to like hold on to his older identity, you know? Like someone who's in their egg form, who's like trying to hold on to markers of their old uh, gender, um, just like kind of awkwardly in this limbo state. And kind of getting pissed at themselves about every move they make. The lightning. You said it uses holy lightning. Which I assume to be like lightning Godwin would have used. No, well, that, okay. Uh, oh, I, I said lightning. I, I shouldn't have really said lightning because it's really just not lightning. Like it does make a lightning sound. I will say that. I think it's supposed to evoke lightning. But it's like it is... Um, I'm saying it's not lightning because they're in different um, damage categories. <laughs> That's really what I'm getting at. Like, the game considers them different categories of thing. Juvenile Scotters be has only in Japanese, right? Right. I okay, no, there's definitely no indication of, like, boy versus girl here. I don't remember where I saw that. Whoa. Whoa, did they use this? I don't know if they ever used this gravestone in game. The one on the right, y'all? I'm hoping you guys are looking at this. <clears throat> uh, you forgot the... Oh, Zlovsky? Or, yeah, Zlovsky? Oh, is that is that who said it, Hollow Scout? Is that what you're is that what you're telling me? You guys, I really need to stop sucking. Okay, we're gonna turn on the HUD and we're gonna turn down the fucking speed. Was I at five before? Godwin's incantations are actually lightning. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They're, I think they're death blight, but they are, um, they look like literal lightning. They do like the little zigzag shit. Zlowski has good images. The red and blue scholars. Yeah, exactly. That, I think that is where I saw it. I don't, yeah. Let me, I'll take one look to see if I can find it quickly. Because I do know how to search. Okay, never mind. My computer's being slow. I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, we don't need to know. Like, that part's not that sh earth-shattering to the analysis, you know? Alright. We're trying hard now. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that one. Oh, come on. So close to being a two shot. I am here on the outside. Yes! Thank God. Oh! Nope! 
I'm not gonna fuck up now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Fuck yeah. I'll use these. I ain't afraid. Am not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, come take my hand. <laughs> Get absolutely shit on, buddy. Sorry. Told you I wasn't losing this time. All the statues of Radagon sometime to check the hair colors and see if there are any uh, correlation to t with the timeline or anything. Yeah, I, yeah. So vaguely, yeah, that's my report. Vaguely, I remember them seeming like the early ones that are close to the capital have the gold. It might. I don't think it was like Altus Plateau only. It could be though. That was that would be a likely one to check. I remember it being in, in, um, hard to figure out like an easy pattern to them. Or at least it didn't jump out at us. Device. Bust. What device? What did I do wrong? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. I've got my... Oh my god. So, where do I go? Oh, I go up here, actually, I think. I think you can go past this, ladies. Oh, yeah, because of the... Th okay. Oh, is that what I fucked up? Do I find the top of this elevator? No, but... Shit. Ow. Two blood vials didn't even heal. Did you know Radagon is America? Holy shit. What? What does that mean? Wait, does that mean she had sex with herself? What the fuck? That's like so gross, dude. What the fuck, dude? Why would they have her fuck herself? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dusk. Um, what were we talking? We were talking about Radagon's Red Braid. Lord Madness. Yeah, we were we were kind of going all over the place for a second. We we're talking about the the eyes of the students, the juvenile scholars who are being rebirthed, being Amba. We we're talking about the difference between lightning and holy bolts. Creepy little song. Yeah. Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> Where do I go? Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me so hard. <laughs> Forget what's the form. <laughs> Mother's Umbra. <laughs> and that's why her hair is different. Yeah, exactly. Liberals do that shit. They all love themselves. Got him. There it is. No. 
No. At least her hair isn't blue and she doesn't use pronouns. Yeah, exactly. Thank God, finally a video game that isn't political. <laughs> men's pants faints. <laughs> Not one, baby. This good old-fashioned killing. That's what I like in my video games. I want to kill big monsters. Whoa. That is a cool device. What the fuck? That's kind of lit. So, I do not remember that path. I'm just going to hit this button. No! Thank you. I was about to be annoyed. Oh, wait. Actually, I should go back. I lied. Because then I can take it back up and have way more resources. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Go and die? That's not very nice. This is not neighborly of her at all. You was quizzing Jean that for some reason the elevator for Moog is a Knox elevator. Ooh. Wait. The reason... What do you mean you were quizzing Jean? Oh. Wait, what do you mean you were quizzing her, though? Because shouldn't they all be Noxian? Because he's, like, in a Nox place. Isn't he in... Or he's not in a Nox place, but the Nox live there. They live close by. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, juicy. Vogue gentrified it. He's in an Elden John place. Right, he's in an Elden John place, but he's also in Siofra. In Siofra Riverwell. Right. They're all, yeah, they, they've they been around. They've been around those ruins a lot more than most civilizations, it would seem. Oh, an... You're calling lazy devs? I mean, but what if that civilization didn't have elevators, though? I don't, I don't see a reason to think that they did, really. It's just, I, I would believe you, but it's a strange line to make. Yeah, because lever for the elevator in front of the boss fight. Oh, 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 oh. My God. Okay. Okay. I'm being stupid. You are absolutely correct, Hyacinth. And I'm gonna go get water. On that note, <laughs> we've been going for almost three hours since I started the PS5. And it's only the lever that's docks. Yeah. 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 No. You, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. Thank you for making me undumbified. I don't think they ever made one kicks. Or at least I don't remember seeing one. Specifically. Anyway, be right back. I'm going to get some water. I'm just going to do a quickie.
You got an actual ad jump scare. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I didn't say it more explicitly that the ad was on its way. <laughs> the Scream movie advert. Oh, and then the ad it actually had a jump scare in the ad. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Add trigger warning. You can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime, baby. Right, kick six, but it's like you slapped a Nox lever into the stone of an old thing, and you're like, this'll work. <laughs> Does that make sense? Capitalism, yeah, exactly. Add trigger warning. If you guys are are uh, squeamish, go to somebody else's channel for five seconds for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what also what I was not getting at first. Kick six. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like, it's pretty separated, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That is true, Hal Scott. That's also the, the order I see it. But also, it seems like the Nox really never really got to... That dynasty ruins. At least I'm, when I'm thinking about it, I don't think there's any other knock stuff up there. What a cute little chimney. It's a cute little guy. Look at this cute little guy. Ah, oh, that's a little guy. We're definitely going to get our souls back here. That's actually imperative because there's like 6k. And I really need to level up here a little bit before we go on to the next area. I don't really need to level up for Hemwick though. Because she's just kind of a dork. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to feel extra easy when I'm just shooting. Oh, your poor computer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fair. That is one one explanation, Kick Six. But I I agree with Hyacinth to call lazy devs on that one. Is Radon's town Knox Lake could be the prevented from being forced down? With the dynasty ruins. Oh, good point. Yeah, that could be him who's doing that. Because <laughs> they do have more like gravity magic than anybody else. But yeah, Hall's God, not only is it Nox ta Nox like, it's like confirmed Noxian. It's a Noxian like refugee, pretty much. Refugee town. But uh, at least the refugee town thing was what uh, Rachel and I we're saying to ourselves for a while. But your your explanation makes more sense. It's all good. You have a good PC now. Oh, nice. That's good. Good, good, good. One that ha doesn't have a Dark Souls 3 addiction. Oh, you're being so cute right now. Oh my god, I love you. Hi of the Wisp, how are you doing tonight? You mean Celia? Yeah, yeah, Celia. 
They do have the Nox duo there. Yeah. They got lots of other stuff too. They got they got the chair obviously behind them and they got all the uh they got all those towers and like the same architecture. The architecture is like the biggest part. Yeah. Right, and I think they probably have that, um, I'm doing great, Wiz, how are you? We're having a good time here, we're, we uh, played a little bit of Dark Souls 2 earlier, so now we have a character in every game, um, so we can just, like, flip-flop, and that's what we decided to do next, we flip-flopped over to Blub, Blub, Blub. Are you working on anything this weekend? Any projects? Whoa, that's a good project. <laughs> I'm glad you got that under your belt. How do you feel? Horrible or good? Right, exactly. So with Celia and Knox, they use the same textures but change the color from bluish to yellow. Cool. Oh, that's cool. That is really interesting. You feel good? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. It's wisp. Mm, yeah, I know how it is. I've been there. Been there, Wispy. I've been there. All too often. Oh no! Uh uh. Damn it. Why? Why did? Why did you roll like that? I swear to God, I pressed straight back. That guy is such a douche. No. No, I'm kidding. I was muted for a second. <laughs> I did try to talk to you guys. I mean, them rice cakes, baby. You know they're too good. Oh, not rice cakes. Rice thins. Excuse me. Misspoke. Hey, howdy. Is that what that, um, that emote was supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for returning my look. <laughs> you guys are cute. What's in the middle there? It's just a little diamond. Okay. Nothing super interesting about that. Symbols wise. Wow. Wearing a cowboy hat, but it's giving you died to me for some reason. <laughs> okay, sounds good. As long as I know. <laughs> as long as I know it's the new NT. <laughs> What a cute little cowboy. 
Yeah, he's a cutie. <laughs> Literal cowpoke. Why does this suck? <laughs> I love the exclamation marks. No, 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 no. I couldn't move. I was trying to press triangle. Man. Why is this being hard? That's because I'm... I should just run through. But this time, I'm not going to die immediately like I... Like last time when I said that. See ya. Please. You guys were annoying anyway. No, no. That is so annoying. God damn it, I was muted again. Now just looking at who we're gonna raid after this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, please do. Oh yeah, um Hollow Scout, the um the rules in here are super lax. Like until we get too many people or something or like links become a problem. I say it's free reign. So go for it. I definitely wanna see if anybody like can confirm or deny. <laughs> Why you? Okay, there's gonna be a dog. Yes! Let's go! Get got, buddy. Get got. Okay, don't fuck up here. No, nope, there's one coming for me. We got we got major clodge going on right now, by the way. <laughs> Can you guys see this? I know it's really small. Major clodge. A curse upon me. You don't say. No, oh, that's too many guys. What? You're supposed to fight all these guys? There's got to be a, a grace around here, right? Is that a grace? See ya. I gotta go. A song isn't important to what you're saying is about to mute it. It about think about it is is it's Ukrainian something. Oh No, no Easy. Easy game. So easy. So easy. I can't even believe it. You have the dumbest question? Yes, please. I've been waiting all my life for this question. 
It's actually not dumb. Damn it! Oh no 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 no! You just roll caught the absolute fuck out of me. Holy shit! Come back when it's dumber. <laughs> um, like mid medieval. Shit, I was muted again! Ah, Okay, so. Uh, what did I say? What have I said so, so far? <laughs> did I answer the question at all? Because <laughs> I was just going to say medieval. Let me see Let me see when Splendor Solace was written. Give me one second. Medieval. You're delving into fashion. Let's go. Um, okay, hold on. All right. Oh! Oh! Stop shooting things. You absolute bastard. Can you imagine if we didn't have come fuck how annoyed I'd be right now? A lot of alchemy is about claiming stuff is... The past is from the past, right? See, Rosicutions, yeah, which is a very confusing timeline, but sometimes a mix of actually old al alchemy. Short answer, I have no idea. Right. But if we're talking these manuscripts, like um, the one we watched together, the other, what was it, like yesterday or something? Um, the Esoterica episode and this Splendor Solus. Um, I think I can give you like a time period for that at least. Like when the earlier manuscripts were being made. Give me a second. Mm. Let me see what like the first few words say. Talk of the manuscripts, yeah. There are a couple of theosophical libraries in the LA area. You'll read random stuff. Oh, that sounds fun. I assume all mysterious manuscripts are of dubious provenance. Yeah. Who can say situation? Yeah. And more about the general century, yeah. You're just trying to look for the time periods so that you know what clothing to look up, really. Sixteenth century. Sixteenth century is when the Splendor Solace was written. 
Mm-hmm. Right, it did. It was like, um, yeah, there's like Islamicit, pre-Islamicit that goes into like the medieval peri periods and you're right. Comp Saint Gerbain. Who is that again? I can't, I kind of vaguely remember that name, but I cannot remember. You're not really that mysterious. Is he not mysterious enough? Oh my god, my dog is the cutest. <laughs> Rich guy, philanthropist, philanthrope. No. He's a sage. He's a voice, a sage. Get juked. Kind of a legend. Oh, like a uh, Hermes Trismegistus type character. A fable. A fabled. Oh, that's a guy we want to kill. Count, though, right? Uh, is it a French thing? Because it might be. Yeah. Uh, weird, notorious, uh, infamous figure? No, that, there, there might be a more specific one. Specific word than that. Right, I can't remember if that's a non-real guy or a real, real guy. Either. <laughs> Ooh, we got our first Carol rune, y'all. Lake. We got some lore to finally read. Jesus Christ, took long enough. I think we have some other lore, but not a lot. You guys are mean. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Alchemist and just like rumored to be a time travel. Right. Nicholas Flamel type shit. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, exactly. Right. Alright, let's read some lore and then let's raid out. And I think we're gonna we're gonna find an ERA person. I think we're gonna see Kid Hellacious, because I've never um I've never raided Kid before. Fascinating and so fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's definitely, I definitely heard that name. I, I can't remember at all when, where it was, but I've definitely heard it before. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Nope, we're not leaving yet. We gotta read the lore. Sort of found his way into pop culture. Yeah. Yeah, once you get into enough of that stuff, people are just gonna use you in their stories. New Castlevania. Oh, funny. I watched a bit of that. I don't really remember it that well, but I remember enjoying myself. It was like the right kind of um, dorky for me. All this shit is so cool looking. Oh, let's read this. We never read this either. This curved nice is a thin and sharp as a surgeon's blade. Often used for self-defense by uh, special doctors in the healing church. They say that hunters traditionally avoid the use of poison, likely because the poison is too slow to act in the heat of the hunt. Interesting. I really like that. I really like it. I'm taking lots of pictures. Quite thrilling. 
<laughs> That's funny. Huh. It's got a booby. It's a little small booby. Tiny little booby. There's some of these we haven't read. Oh, right. This is new, too. Additional medium that strengthens quicksilver bullets. Okay. According to the workshop, this is special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. You just got some books to read. Dumb crows picking out your size. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, this game's really great. According to the workshop, the special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Invaluable to hunters with weak blood tinge who require the use of stronger firearms. I'm like petting my dog so aggressively right now on the ground. <laughs> He's like fully giving in right now. You could say they're helpful, Books. <laughs> you just wanted to hear it, didn't you, Books? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You do? Oh, that's good to know. Invaluable to Hunter. Oh, yeah, we read that part. Uh, did we read this ever? I don't think we ever read this. A distant mirror. We'll see how that is. <laughs> yeah, definitely you need to stay in contact with Jean. For sure. You guys could come up with some really cool stuff together, I think. Oh, we have so much to read, y'all. Okay, let me let me settle in here a little bit. Let me get a little comfy. We're not we're not ready just yet. To end stream. Blood taken from Ariana, Cathedral Ward Woman of Pleasure. The sweet blood of Ariana restores HP and temporarily speeds stamina recovery. A member of the old healing church would know that her blood is was similar indeed to precious what was once forbidden. <laughs> Weird. You gotta take a picture of that. You need to ping some people you know who are getting their doctorates in archaeology to and focus on viking excavation fuck yeah it's like 17th to 19th um i mean the stuff in game is not 60 as um is like 17th i think like enlightenment period isn't that 17th century 18th century Of course. Your in-depth knowledge about medieval and renaissance. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you could still help. You might be able to find some shit. Isn't like Rhea Lucarian a bit later than that? It spans in the game. You'd say a lot is actually medieval. Okay. The castles certainly are. Terms of common garments. Okay. Makes sense. What? Did you pee? He, all right, fine. All right, I gotta, I gotta give him a little treat. Yeah, you gotta love that forbidden blood. Would be like medieval. Okay. Right. So we're like in the Renaissance. Or in the. No, not the Renaissance. Yeah. It 
It even says it's dangling. So here's my problem with the medical, um, medical um, allegory videos that we've all talked about. The bold hunter's mark. You're telling me that shit isn't referencing the hanged man at the beginning of Hemlock Eternal Lane? Like, come on. You were going to say to you, Kix, Medieval is Dark Souls 1, Medieval 2 is Bloodborne. <laughs> Wait, Medieval? <laughs> Hi, Seth, I don't understand this message. I feel like I should somehow. Oh! Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. oh, God, okay, he's being so annoying, being really needy. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity, allows the hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes, a trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Nearly too good to be true. What does that mean? Actually kind of true though. <laughs> Laminated cards with full clothing says armor sets. What do you mean? Laminated cards. I know, I'm just, like, asking you questions like, all over and over again. Oh, right. So you could learn them? Or just reference them? Them in time periods. Oh, hell yeah. Pistol and blunderbuss. <laughs> For real? That's funny. Okay. If you're if he's gonna make me do this, I'm gonna let you guys watch. Getting a little show for free now. Oh baby. We keep reading. War one could save them until morning. Doggo. Is my baby Wilbur. Look at that furry little Wilbur. Yeah. Yeah. He wants a lot of touching right now. He's like, yes, pet me. Please pet me. He's actually clearly wanted to pay homage to the biggest influence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Not a hunter's tool, but a simple antique to be used when the one sees fit. Lol, Lamau. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wilbur. Are you leaving? Don't you dare leave. Okay, fine, bye. Climbing over pillows. He doesn't do that very often. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of revenge. Indeed, gratitude for their victims. Something to kill. Plays Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, I like the pebble one. Thrilling. Quite thrilling. Madman's knowledge. Skull of a mad ma skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of the great ones. Used to gain insight. Making contact with Eldritch wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad. It allows one to serve a grander purpose for a posterity. Shield description, yeah. Shield and yeah, that's a classic. That's a certified banger. 
<laughs> that is a good one to, to say. I'm making sure my dog doesn't fall into the crevice of the couch. He's definitely going to do it. Wilbur, don't go to the crevice. If your passivity gets endangered, engendered, yeah, that's actually it's a little yikesy. Not going to lie. Shabriri grape. Yeah, I agree. It looks a lot like a Shabriri grape. It's a little grape. She did great. <laughs> okay. A woman's red, bright red brooch. Oh, the dog left. We can go back here. Oh my God! I'm I'm a tomato. She's a tomato. Oh, I'm still a tomato, but whatever. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. That's kind of sad. It doesn't give you any better lore than that. I guess they're like trying to give me a good reason to pop it and use it for stuff, but I'm still not going to do it. I'm still not going to do it. We need to take pictures of all this shit, honestly. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Discovered in the... Oh, okay. So they didn't make this technology, y'all. It could be the rock it becomes has lore. Right, it could be. I don't know. Should I use it? Oh, I mean, I took a picture already, so, yeah, why not? Blood, red blood gem. Ooh, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, a blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Droplet blood gems are special gems that adapt to various weapons and shapes. Forbidden candy. It really does. It looks very tasty. I me want to eat. Created from a, a bright red brooch, this blood gem strengthens the effect of rallying. A quintessential hunter skill. Rallying symbolizes the battle-worn hunter, who is often the only thing standing after a blood bath. Cool. My hungry ass could not be trusted with these blood gems. Yeah, I know. I really wish I had some McDonald's right now, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I would kill for some Mac, though. Some Mac, do. Yo, Scarlet Rot? Uh, Scarlet Rot, anybody? Candy. It looks like candy. You just have... Burgers for tea? <laughs> burgers for tea is a funny sentence. I said burgers for tea. So you're a real American right now, baby. Burgies. A blood gem that fortifies weapons that add various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow in cold blood. Blood gems are kneaded into weapons using workshop tools. Most... Wa waning blood gems provide rare special effects such as fire, bolt, or healing. You have a few rocks polished polished rocks and fool's gold. Temptation to eat is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. You got some nice rocks, Hollow Scout? That's cool. You little rock kid. Blood gem is a waning mood. Wait, why? This one, not the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it says it there, right? Doesn't it say it somewhere? <laughs> Starting to get sleepy, you gotta do a bunch of dishes before it gets uh, terminal anyway. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Night. Waning blood gem, yeah. Yeah, it says waning blood gem, right, right, right. Uh, doesn't. Does it say this? 
right. Is Def Terminal right? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm we're we're reading literally one last description, and then we're going we're gonna we're gonna raid out. That's cool. That's cool, Hollow Scout. I hope we get to talk some more. A carol rune that transcribes in human sounds. This transcription of the great ones in human voice ripples like a watery reflection. This rune means lake, and those who memorize it enjoy reduced physical damage. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep and an augur of the Eldritch Truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. Do you collect lots of... Oh, yeah. I think... I'm assuming so. Most people don't go half-assed into that. Um, Cla Ouroboros playing Clash of Clans right now. For real, for real. <laughs> you gotta love that. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. <laughs> You'd like to get some more, some some of the good, good. You gotta get the good, good. You know. Kid, hellacious, my little sweetheart. All right, everybody. I need to make a raid message, huh? Sleeping Steph, oh my gosh, I missed your follow earlier. Thank you so much. And Meltdown XYZ and Emperor Weistera. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. You're on Twitter. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you should talk to me on there. Or I'll, wait, I've hit you up on Twitter, I think at least like once. Anyway, thank you so much, dears. I'm hoping I'm not missing anybody. Mint, Kick6, Emily, Books, Dusk. Kills. Gene, Ben, if you're still there. My dears. My sweethearts. Goodbye. Kicks.